Hey guys, Scott here for the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com. Rocky is in the house, so a little warning to you, he could be causing some chaos in here. And I apologize up front if he does. He does not like to lay out in the garage very long. It's kind of cool out here. Got the heater on, but uh, he's kind of high maintenance, so he likes, he likes being warm. Hey, today we're going to talk about um, tone breaks and how to change them here in the um, Manticore. Yeah, I mean, so so there's one last thing that in this in this machine that has been intimidating me a little bit, and then once I got in there and started using it, I'm like, oh, this is nothing. So I need to show this to you guys before. Uh, I know some of you guys are getting your machines now, and so there's a lot going on in the Manticore that you know people need to unpack and and figure out. So these these videos are just designed to help you try to get a leg up, get you out on the field quicker, and um, save a lot of time sticking your head in a book trying to figure it out so hopefully these are helpful if they are you know leave me a comment tell me what you think uh give me some su suggestions uh, recommend if you haven't i know i've got a lot of people in my patreon group now uh it's a really awesome group we take machine like the manticore and we do and we uh figure out like target ranges and things like that and, and discuss how to create different programs and things so we got all that going on over there um, so if you want to feel free to join the conversation and uh, provide some, you know, some ideas and things, we'd welcome you. So, and plus your support helps, you know, keep this channel going. So if you would like to donate something to the channel to help keep it going, that would be greatly appreciated. But uh, you can do that over on my Patreon channel. There's a link in the description. All right. But today we're going to talk about the uh, Manticore again. We're going to go through, uh, I think I did, the last video I did was on discrimination patterns. Um, this one we're going to do on the tones. We're going to show you how to edit the tones, the tone volume, the tone pitch, and actually the uh, tone breaks. So uh, this is like the final piece of the puzzle for the Manticore, I think. Uh, for me personally, I think learning this technique was one of the last things to kind of figure out on this machine. And now I can tell you firsthand, I am not intimidated by anything in this machine anymore. It's very intuitive, very easy to use. So... Uh, once you get this, you're going to really like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to pick our search pattern or search mode. So we're going to be in all terrain general today, and I'm going to show you something really cool at the end. So stick around. Uh, so what we're going we're going to do today is we're going to go up to our discrimination pattern. We're not going to do anything with that. I just showed a video on that, so check that video out. But now we're going to go up to um, target tones, and right now I'm in two regional all tones. Um, but I don't want to be in two regional all tones. I want to be in, I'm going to pick five tones. So when you do that, you have an edit button here at the bottom. So you hit edit. And so here's how all of your tone breaks are set up. Here's how the tone pitches are set up and here how the tone volumes are set up. So you notice here you have the T1 start and my red dot is at zero. My tone pitch for this first region is set at 10 and my volume it doesn't tell me but my volume is also set by the indicator by this this line so um, well it doesn't tell you by the line it um, your volume is shown here the, the third region is set at 25 the fourth is 25 I suspect because these are skinny they don't they don't show up but we can find out real quick uh, what's really cool about this, it's kind of confusing at first so you got to understand a few things there are three things you can change in each region so the first one you have right now set up on this first dot, you can, if you hit the edit button, you have the ability to change the, the, uh, the pitch. Right now it's set at 10. You can go up all the way to 50. All right, so we're going to bring it back down to 10. Just keep it simple here. So it's at 10. Now, that's fine. So you've set the vault or set the pitch. You, you want it at 10. You're going to leave it there. That's all you really can do right now. But you have to come back out. And now you have to hit the arrow button over. Now you can see the difference is you are now on this line versus the dot. When you do the line, you can hit edit again. And now you have volume control. So now your volume is set at 25. That is the highest you can set it. 
So your volume is set at 25, but let's say you don't want to listen to it at 25. You want to, you want to decrease it. Um, so you're going to use the, follow the red arrows to decrease it. I'm going to knock it all the way down to like, maybe I'll turn it off. So I'm at zero. I'm going to turn that first region completely off. I don't want to hear it. That's how you do it. So now you've set the volume. Now you're going to back out of that menu. And now you're going to go over one more to the second dot. And then you're going to hit your edit button again. So now look what you can do. You can set your, your tone one end, basically your region. You can set that number and raise it, lower it. You can shorten that region. You can make it bigger. Or you can change the pitch by your up and down arrows. So a couple things going on in this one. This is kind of, so let's say, for instance, I didn't like that tone region. So I'm going to raise it up to, let's say, 15 instead of 10. Right now it's at 10, but let's go to, let's change it to 15. So now I've just made that whole region bigger. I've shortened the second one. Um, but let's say I want to raise that pitch up instead of 10. I want to make it, you know, 20. So now I've changed the pitch to 20. And so I see how my bar raised. So that's basically how you change your, your pitch, your volume, and your range, your tone range, your regional re region range. I don't know what you want to call it. Your, <laughs> your, your tone break, all right? Ra raising your tone break range. There you go. Um, then you got to get back out of this. So now you've changed that. What if you go over one more? Well, now you're now into the, the second tone region. So you're at the first dot. So if you click edit, here's what you can change. You can change the start number. So you can actually reduce that, go back in, go back down, or you can raise the pitch again. So let's just, let's say, well, maybe we didn't really want it at 17. Maybe we want to raise it. We want to start it at... 16 or maybe we'll go back to let's go back to 10 um so we're just changing the region range again um but now i want to change my pitch it was a 14 i'm going to raise it up to 30. so now my pitch is at 30 that's fine but now i'm going to get out of this i'm going to go over one more now i have the volume control it's set it for 25. Maybe I don't want 25. Maybe I want to make it a little less loud. So, you know, in my speakers, I'm not going to, or my headphones, it's not going to ring so loud for me. So I want to hit the edit button. And you only have one option here, and that's to decrease. So I'm going to drop it down to 20. Now I'm going to go to my next, go over my next one, next dot. Here's where you can change the, the end of your range and your pitch by hitting the edit button again. So you see the pattern here? You have three things you can change per region. You just have to uh, keep cycling through by using your right arrow button to get to each one of the options. So you can configure these tone breaks for, for, for your five tones and really design the way you want things to sound for you. So I've actually created a really cool coin program doing this. Um, in my Patreon group, we had some people, our friend Jerry took all the coins he has in his arsenal and ran through the Manticore for target IDs, documented them, and then I went in and found different tone breaks for each one of the, you know, the regions or the tone breaks for the range of target IDs for all the coins. So check this out. So if you come back out of here, I've actually have it saved in a favorite. So we come back out of here, we're in all, all terrain general. If I click my favorite button, this is my coin program. Now, if you go back up to target five tones and hit edit, here's my target pattern or my, my tone patterns. So my first region is completely off. I don't even hear it. My second one is set pretty high. I have it set at like 45 for the volume. Let's just, well, let's go find out. So my pitch starts at 21 or I'm sorry, my range starts at 21. My volume is at 25, and my pitch is at 45, and it ends at 29. My third region starts at 30, volume is off, and ends at 37, and my pitch, I've changed it to 1, but it's, you won't hear it anyway. 
So you see what I'm doing here? I mean, this is basically how my coin pattern is going to be set up. Now, if you watch my last video, I'm going to do a video on setting up this coin program, but you basically have to use this in conjunction with um, the discrimination also. So you have to come down to discrimination pattern, hit edit. And there's my discrimination patterns for the coin program in conjunction with my tone breaks. Um, I don't have enough, I don't have enough, I need six tone breaks to make this really what I want to, but in order for me to do that, the machine doesn't allow you to do six tone breaks. So you have to come into the discrimination and kind of add in a couple things that you would have gotten rid of. So that's for another video, but I just wanted to show you that and how to do all that stuff. But basically, um, when you come up in, into your target tones, remember there's three things you can change. And that's basically your start and end range, uh, target ID range, the numbers from like zero to whatever you want to start with, um, your pitch and the volume of each of these regions. So three things you can change. You just have to remember how to do it. And so hopefully today I've kind of explained that and how to kind of cycle through or scroll through those options and get you in this, this window. Now you do have some other options here. There's, um, let's say you want to go into five region all tones. This is a little bit of a different beast because now you have, you have five regions, but what can you change in this region? Well, since you have all tones, you can change the dynamics of each of these regions and how they sound. So, for instance, if you want to edit the, let's go over to the second region where it starts at six. We want to edit that. Your option now is you can, you can change your start number or your pitch like you could before. We'll leave it there. Let's scroll over to the second one. Your second, your second option in the middle line is your volume like it was before. And then your third is going to be, um, the number you end with and the pitch, it's set at 24. If you edit that, um, you can change that end pitch. You can raise it up. So check that out. So your, your start, it's going to be a very, very dynamic uh, pitch tone is what I'm trying to say to you. It's going to be very different um, than what, your, what the default five-tone program is. So it's going to be very, very dynamic. So just keep that in mind if you want to change the region all tones, your pitch will be a little, little different. Okay? So that's really all I wanted to show you. I don't know where it was. <laughs> and let's say, for instance, you screw something up and you don't want to, you don't want to use that anymore. Well, let's say, let's go in to our, let's go back to our, our search program here. Let's go back to the bottom. Let's, I don't want to change this one because um, this is my custom program. So let's go into search mode again. Let's go into all-terrain high conductors. Let's go into the all-terrain general, the one we were editing. And let's say I, didn't, I was done. I didn't want to do that anymore. Instead of resetting the whole box, the whole machine, you can come up here and reset just that, that search program itself by selecting reset, hitting the arrow over. It's going to ask you to confirm, and you're going to say yes. And now your all-terrain general is back to normal. That includes your, should, should include your uh, target tones as well. If we go back to the five one, this is the one we were editing. So you should be back to the, where you were before. All right, don't get intimidated by this stuff. It's not that hard. Uh, get yourself in there, muck around with it. Um, if you're new to the Manticore, I, I suggest learning the machine a little while before you start messing around with tones and stuff. But um, it's a very powerful machine. I like it a lot. I'm enjoying the Manticore. Um, if you're looking for this machine, I recommend reaching out to my friends over at Fort Bedford Metal Detectors. They will take care of you. They'll hook you up. I know these machines are, are not coming in as fast as everybody would like. But get on their list, and as soon as they come in, they'll hook you up. So that's really it for me today. Join me on Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Appreciate that and getting these conversations. We're figuring a lot of this stuff out. 
Um, got a lot of guys, a lot of group, a lot of, a lot of good guys over there in that group. They've they're dragging me to dig stock this year, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So um, yeah, just uh, like, subscribe, and uh, comment on the channel. I appreciate this. Uh, appreciate you guys coming in to watch the video today. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, like I said, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel. All right, that's it for me today. From me and Rocky, we'll see you in another Mental Metal video.